Welcome back to my channel and I'm starting something new with this video today. It's very exciting. So I'm going to start a new series. This is season then. Uh, a new series called Mum Life and I'm going to be talking about different aspects of being a mum. Um, there will be quite a few different things coming up. Today's episode, episode is all about pregnancy. So I've been a mum now for five and a half weeks for filming this. And I just want to share my experiences and my top tips, what I've learned being a mum, what I can help out with you guys if you're going to be a new mum. Um, now I didn't want kids. I was not keen on having kids. That was not something I seen in my future. Obviously I have one now and I love my sleep. So if any of you know me, you will know I'm obsessed with sleep. If I don't get like eight to nine hours a night, then I'm screwed. I've always been obsessed with sleep. Um, so if any of you are like that, then these tips, these little stories, these little helping hands, I guess, is going to help you in your mum journey. So I have a few ideas already planned out. This one is going to be tips about pregnancy, looking back on the things that I wish that I'd have done differently or I'd have done more of. The next one will be about birth and what I wish I'd have known during my birth and my labour and then the one after is going to be how to cope with a newborn there will be other things as well but these are the top three that I've got in mind so they're my top three episodes that will be coming up over the next few weeks I'm not going to be just doing mummy stuff I promise um, hopefully I'll get some makeup videos in there when she gets a little bit more settled and I will be doing body positivity videos again they will be starting up really soon and I'm really excited to do them again something that I haven't done in a while because being pregnant your hormones are all over your body's changing every day so they will be coming up as well so this is not just going to be a whole mum series um, on my channel there will be other things as well this is just part of me now I'm a mum this is part of who I am and I think that I should put that on my channel to help other mums. Okay, so as I said, this is the pregnancy part. So, <laughs> so I think I have roughly about 11 pointers for you to help with your pregnancy if you're pregnant or to better your experiences. People walking past. Okay, so tip number one, enjoy every single moment of it. Embrace it, even the painful parts of pregnancy, even the most annoying parts of pregnancy. Because once it's gone, I am telling you things change. You will miss it. I am I had the worst pregnancy. Now, if you know me and you follow me on my channel, you'll know how bad my pregnancy was. I had terrible SPD, arthritis, you know, there's a whole shebang of what was wrong with me during my pregnancy. That's something that you want to go ahead and take a look at, then go and look through my other videos. There is stories on that. So just enjoy it, embrace it, love it. Just take every second to be a part of it and to rejoice in your pregnancy because once it's gone I am telling you I cry now thinking back about being pregnant and having that little bond with that person it's just you and that baby and when that baby's out you have to share it with the world I think it makes it's such an amazing magical thing as well being pregnant and growing a life inside of you it's amazing please enjoy it point two Take as many bump shots as absolute possible, like I did. I used to take them every week, every two weeks. I make collages, I put everything together. Take them because you will want to look back, you will want to make memories. Take as many pictures as you can of your growing bump, especially if you don't want more than one kid because I don't. And I just want I want to remember it and I want to see how I grew and when they're out it's like oh my god really that really happened it's insane so take as many pictures as you can share them with everybody it doesn't matter if you have stretch marks it doesn't matter about your tummy being fat or you know some people are a bit strange about their tummy that grows and it changes but just try and love it embrace it take as many pictures as you possibly can. Oh, hello. Okay. 
right there. Okay, next one I have for you is it won't last forever. So I cherish every single kick. Even if the kicks are painful, I had really bad kicks. This one, if you've probably seen in the background, throwing her arms around, she loves kicking. So cherish it and feel it and film it and show everybody. Um, I miss that so much now. When she has hiccups, like outside of my body, like now, I'm like, oh, I can, I can low key feel that. Don't know why my skin keeps changing from orange to white. I'm sorry about that if it's annoying. I don't know. The lighting is changing outside, the sun's setting. So please do cherish every single kick, every turn, every moment, every feeling that you get in your tummy. Cherish it and again, take pictures of it and video it. I have so many videos, but it does not last forever. And when they're out, you'll not have that feeling again this that is the closest you will be to your babies when you're growing them in your tummy it's like a little secret between you and your baby that nobody else will ever feel it's amazing so please if it hurts go with it because you'll not get that back yeah sleep as much as possible this is not a joke seriously sleep all the time every day nap you know get up late because when you have that baby things are gonna change and it, it's insane the amount of sleep you don't get now i didn't believe everybody when they said sleep because i thought oh they sleep baby newborns are always asleep no they're not they are not as you've probably been able to tell every video i've filmed since having her she's on me because she doesn't sleep and it is very hectic so please nap sleep just you know really go to town there as much as you possibly can and ignore anybody that says you're lazy get as much as you can girl okay now this is one that is more for after pregnancy so after they're here but i found this very interesting to do before it's okay it's okay before i got home have your moses basket set up have the sheets washed have it all ready to go because as soon as you get home from the hospital you're gonna have to have somewhere to put her or him so that is a top tip like have it ready as soon as you get in pop her in there you know do what you gotta do but that has to be ready if you're not using a moses basket and you're using a cot then get that ready have you pulled you better not have girl you better not have You've done some right stinkers today. So have it ready. Another thing I'm going to add to that is don't be so prepared with like getting your balancer ready. Don't worry about having that out. Don't worry about getting your swing out because they're not going to want that. They're going to want a place to sleep. That's the first and most foremost thing you need to do about 37 weeks. Get that ready. Muslim squares Muslim I don't know anyway those things are like gold when you are had a baby when you've got a baby those things are life so have a box or a drawer somewhere close by full of these Muslim squares if you don't know what they are I don't have one here should have probably brought one but they are basically like a big cloth you can use them for everything like i use them instead of bibs i just find them much easier i'll just put it over their head or put all poppers on it i just love them they're amazing for wiping sick up they're better they're good for you know putting down in their moses basket in case they throw up they're just amazing i have a whole box full of them um and another thing is keep them somewhere high up so i didn't do this and this is a tip um that i wish i'd have heard when i had her i had a cesarean as most of you know i had the boxes organized to shit underneath a moses basket they were so organized but then i can't bend down and you're more than likely not gonna be able to bend down so have the box somewhere you can reach without having to bend down or reach up i had to put them like over there like where all my makeup is and everything i had to put them there because i couldn't bend down and you know you need to be able to get those fast and as well if you're using bibs 
keep them somewhere that you can just grab them. Pregnancy, you can't be bothered to do anything. You can't be bothered to cook. You can't be bothered to clean. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. But have food in that's very easy, very quick to eat. So I used to live off cereal. I used to have like weed fix all the time, um, cereal bars, energy drinks, obviously the safe ones for pregnancy, so like the isotonic ones, um, frozen microwave meals and stuff like that, fruit lying around, anything that's easy to grab, have that in leading up to the end of your pregnancy because you're not going to want to get up, you're not going to want to do anything. So please get your fr fridges and your cupboards and your freezers stocked. That's also an amazing tip for after birth as well, but that's going to be a different video, completely different. So just don't listen to that yet. Realise that no amount of nesting and no amount of cleaning is actually going to pay you for what is to come. So as long as you have the baby's area ready, so the, the Moses basket and everything, the clothes are ready, the nappies. The thing that saved me was getting a nappy caddy. My friend got me one and brought it to my baby shower. Organise that. That is all you're going to need. That and their Moses basket. So don't waste all your energy and all your time cleaning every nook and cranny of your house. As long as it is clean, not like spotless or sparkling, it's fine. But, oh, Bing, what are you doing, mate? You've got cramp. So just have those things prepared. I wouldn't worry too much. When I got home, like, I nested insanely while I was pregnant. I was nesting all the time. I was like, clean freak. And I got home from the hospital and nothing was enough. Like, I was like, oh my god we need to do this i need to do that there's things that i haven't even thought about doing yet she needs this how am i going to do that seriously you you can't prepare for what's going to come so don't waste your energy because likely you're going to go into labor at an unknown time during your pregnancy and you're going to be shattered from all that cleaning so just rest that is like my ultimate top tip rest don't worry too much about everything because it's just not going to be enough anyway so just try and relax and rest and get help with the cleaning if you want to do that that's absolutely fine but take as much sleep as you can that is point that is it okay so if any of you girls are uncomfortable during sleeping when you get into the end of your pregnancy it is hard work getting up to the toilet every five minutes um trying to get your hips comfortable trying to sit with your bump and not killing you oh i do miss it though <sighs> so i have a tip for sleeping either use a pregnancy pillow or get an actual pillow and put that between your knees and your legs it kind of opens up your hips is that your pelvis is more aligned that way than if your knees are put together so if you put something in between your knees it sort of just it stops the pressure of your bones I guess it's just a lot more comfortable what I did is I had a pregnancy pillow that my friend borrowed me it was too big for the bed ah that was mommy's collarbone so I used to prop it up on the side of the wall and have like one of the legs like the tendrils because it's like a it's like a pie shape like the simple pie I used to have one of the legs in between mine and the other part was like up squashed against the wall and it was so comfortable my boyfriend used to try and pinch it off me uh, i would suggest that if you are suffering with spd if you are suffering with pelvic pain hip pain backache just give it a try i swear to god you will be thanking me next one we are getting close to the end now this one is my lifesaver during pregnancy also panty liners stock up on them bad boys um have them in your bag in your purse take them to work have them lying around the house if you're anything like me i used to like not even when i coughed just in general i'd pee myself literally i will just be watching tv and all of a sudden oh i peed yeah ruining knickers left right and center so stock up on panty liners i used to wear them from like five months onwards every day it was a nightmare <laughs> but it saved my underwear and it made me less aware 
of the smell because when you're pregnant your pee is so strong right ladies do you hear me you have the most strongest weights all the hormones and it's like no so stock up on pantalines i used to use the always thins um they were really good and it just makes you feel fresher and last but not least go out on dates with your partner or your boyfriend um when the baby's here you won't be able to ever go out as like a two again without thinking either oh is she okay is he okay uh, if you obviously if you've got a babysitter or you'll have to take the baby with you um things do change in the relationship once the baby's here so please make the most of the time you have as a couple as a two before the baby arrives i found it quite difficult to transition from a two to a three because i I've been with my boyfriend for nearly 10 years and it's always just been the two of us uh, obviously my cat's not but it is hard to transition it's hard to think about somebody else we can't just jump up and it to morrison's or go down to the shop real fast in like five minutes for it shuts um everything like that goes out the window having time for each other is a lot harder when he gets home from work it's like how's the baby is the baby okay that's what we talk about um changing feeding who's gonna feed you don't really get much quality time with your partner it will come back i've been told but at the beginning it's really 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 hard to get that quality time you're sweating baby just put this little one down come on sugar oh, my arm's dead so yeah, make time for each other and my arm is dead. And go out on those dates, go to the cinema. Funny story about cinemas. My baby did not like it when I went to the cinema, but yours might. So go and get on that date, have a nice meal, go for a walk, have sex if you can. I, I couldn't. Um, but just make the most of that too, too some time. Um, I wish we'd done that more. I wish we went out on more dates. I wish we did more things together before she came. But that's what I'm here to tell you to do because now you have that insight. This one's gonna cry any minute because I've not got hold of this. I think about, I need to get my hair cut. She grabs it a lot and it's just getting in the way. I'm thinking like, probably to this length here. What do we think? Is it here? Maybe. Okay, so I think that is all the tips I've got for you. But please just cherish this pregnancy because it doesn't last forever. And when they're here, you have to share the baby with everybody. And I find that quite hard because I'm so used to having her in me. And we're just like a little... I don't know it is really hard to explain but when i say cherish it please do when people used to tell me that i was like shut up this is so painful and cruel and annoying but i wish that i took the time to really love that feeling of being a little connection <coughs> told you you've got all this to look forward to what is it pumpy hey? Where you going? Where you going? You can't go anywhere yet. No, no, no. So that is my top tips for pregnancy. I hope at least one of those has helped you. Um, you probably know quite a few of them. Thank you for watching. I hope you're gonna enjoy this series. I am just gonna go with it, see when I can film, cause it's not gonna be all the time anymore as I am very relied on these days. So take care of yourself, love yourself, have a great pregnancy and I will see you in the next episode of Mom Life. How original. Oh, kitten. Bye guys.